All Blacks legend Jonah Lomu died early on Wednesday the 18th of November in Auckland, aged 40, as described by former team doctor John Mayhew. It was totally unexpected. Jonah and his family arrived back from the uh, United Kingdom last night and uh, suddenly died this morning. It's uh, obviously a very difficult time for, for Jonah and his family. He's a, a great rugby player and a great person. It's a terrible tragedy. and uh, no, it's, the giant wing burst to prominence in 1995 when he trampled over England's Tony Underwood in the World Cup semi-finals in Cape Town for one of four tries in New Zealand's 45-29 win. England captain Will Carling infamously describing him at the time as a freak. Lomu, who became the most feared back in world rugby, scored 43 tries for the All Blacks before being diagnosed in 1997 with nephrotic syndrome, a rare kidney disease eventually having to retire because of it in 2002. And then, um, you know, I had to get on dialysis and it slowly sorted itself right. And uh, now it's shifted from the top of my legs down to my feet. So, uh, yeah, hopefully by next year I'll have my boots back on. Lomu underwent a kidney transplant in 2004 before returning to professional rugby the following year, including a stint at Welsh side Cardiff Blues. Born in Auckland of Tongan descent, he was arguably the first superstar of world rugby, a fact not lost on current New Zealand wing Julian Sarvea, who was described by All Blacks head coach Steve Hansen as better than Lomu. You know, to me personally, no one's better than Jonah. Um, you know, I, I, he was my idol when I was growing up. I had his haircut. Um, <laughs> so, Still do. Still do. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> So, um, you know, he changed the game, you know, back in his era and, um, you know, I think he, uh, you know, inspired a lot of kids as well. And, um, you know, like I said, no one's ever going to be better than Jonah. He's, he's one in his own, um, you know, one in a million. His most recent public appearances came as recently as the 2015 Rugby World Cup, where he was seemingly in good spirits. Oh, mate, no, I think uh, if, uh, if, if, New Zealand, if New Zealand wins, it'll be, it'll be absolutely amazing in, in New Zealand. Uh, Productivity will go through the roof, but also at the same time, no one, I guarantee when the World Cup final is on, there'll be no one working. <laughs> so, yeah, the whole, the whole country will be at a standstill. New Zealand rugby chief executive Steve Tu said he was shocked and saddened by the sudden death of one of the world's most recognisable rugby stars. Prime Minister John Kay said he was deeply saddened by the news and that he's been lost far too early.